welcome to the RCO's A to Z of the organ. Today's letter is N for NPOR, and over the next two or three minutes, I'll be giving you a whistle-stop tour of the National Pipe Organ Register. NPOR is a database which contains information about over 36,000 organs across the UK, with over 20,000 searches undertaken every month. It's owned by the British Institute of Organ Studies and it's managed in partnership with the RCO. Its running costs are covered entirely by donations and uh, we would welcome any contributions towards that. If you'd like to make a donation, you can find more information about that uh, at the address below. The register dates back to 1987 when an initial nationwide survey was undertaken and by 1992 there were around 3,000 organs on the database, so it's increased more than tenfold since then. In the early years it existed offline, but in 1996 a website was introduced, and since then uh, both the coverage and the usage of NPOR have increased considerably. MPOR aims to be a comprehensive record of every pipe organ that exists or did exist in Great Britain and Northern Ireland, so it's work in progress. I'd like to give you a couple of examples of the kind of information that we hold. Um, if we search first of all uh, for a relatively straightforward instrument, here is the organ I play most regularly in St Andrews at All Saints Church. So if I search for St Andrews, we can get a long list there and I click on All Saints and we see there's one organ there. It's a 1923 Hill Norman and Beard. And if I click through, I see all the information. We have specification there. At the top, uh, a note that it has a historic organ certificate. There's some photographs, and then right at the bottom, a uh, sentence that says the BOA has, and if we click on that, we see uh, information from the British Organ Archive, and that's a summary of what's held at uh, the BOA at the Cadbury Research Library at the University of Birmingham. Uh, so this is a great way of expanding your research about an instrument that you know well or, or wanted to find more about. You can also search uh, BOA information uh, directly through this link at the top here. Search for a place and enter Birmingham, for example, and we get a long list of, of all the churches there where, where information, archive information is held. If we search now for another organ uh, with more complicated history, such as King's College, Cambridge, uh, here we are, King's College Chapel, and this brings up a much longer list. Uh, right at the bottom, uh, there's the details of a chamber organ in the chapel, and then the rest of this uh, contains the history of the main organ or organs in the building, uh, dating back in this case to 1508. And obviously there's been many developments since then, and at the top, the most recent records, is the 1933 organ. Uh, it gives us a link there to Harrison and Harrison the Builder. And if we go back, uh, we click on the record there, and that shows us all the uh, more recent interventions as far as the work that was undertaken in 2016. So you can see there's, there's potentially a huge amount of information there about an instrument. And you can search in many different ways. There's a keyword search as we've seen for the address. You can also search by builder and there's an advanced search. You can search by number of manuals, pedals, speaking stops and so on. So there's a really rich mine of information there. As well as the main catalogue, uh, we have a number of other resources which you can view through the MPOR site. And I just want to talk briefly about those. I've already mentioned the British Organ Archive. We also have the Dictionary of British Organ Builders, which at the moment uh, stops at 1950, but uh, you can search again for, uh, if I search for Lewis there, that brings up uh, a long list of, of people with that surname who were known to have been organ builders. 
and uh, included in that is uh, T.C. Lewis, the, uh, the, most, the most obvious name. And finally, um, we have the records of the historic organ sound archive, or HOSA. Uh, this was a major project uh, which produced recordings at 44 historically important organs in East Anglia. And the information has been collected here together with background information about the instruments and about the music that's played. And you can uh, browse through this list. Uh, if we, we can just have a look at one of them here. Uh, this is Great Snoring. And we see there's the regular MPR record. And then at the bottom, uh, there's a list of the recordings that were made as part of that project. And we're making a start on adding uh, YouTube recordings which have been introduced recently uh, for all these HOSA organs and you'll be able to access that through MPUR as well. I hope you find that interesting and helpful. Thank you very much for joining me and do look out for our next video in the A to Z series, The Letter O. Thank you.